Thank you for visiting the Coin Lady channel again. Dear everyone, according to attorney Jeremy Hogan, the state will win this motion, and I'll tell you why. He even sounds slightly sorry as he says it. We hope the SEC doesn't come out on top, so please, just be intellectually honest. However, this post from XRP community member and attorney James K. File discusses the most recent filing by Ripple. In it, he states that Ripple has submitted new expert materials in support of its motion to strike, which was filed on April 22, 2024, and a response to the SEC's opposition to the motion, which was filed on April 29, 2020. Just so we're clear, I don't come from a financial family or anything. No matter what I say, you shouldn't buy or sell anything, I'm not a financial advisor. As a pastime and for fun, I enjoy making films on YouTube regarding crypto-related subjects. I'm just an enthusiast. I agree that you provided a decent overview of this today. Expert materials are ramping up their effort to strike SEC, as reported in the headline. Let's go over this quickly, and then attorney Jeremy Hogan will cover everything in the video. This is how it reads anyway. Ripple, headquartered in San Francisco, has submitted further paperwork in support of its request to strike the expert documents submitted by the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. The expert materials from Andrea Fox, the Assistant Chief Accountant, and the Regulators Division of Enforcement are reportedly being targeted by a ripple effect, as you reported today. The importance of the late disclosure to its case against the SEC was crucial. Ripple challenged the defendant's claim that the regulator was required to provide its expert witness prior to the last phase of discovery, citing the failure to do so in the case of Fox. Rather, the SEC characterized her as a summary witness. I did a video going into more depth on this, so you might remember. I feel the need to clarify something for anyone who might have missed it, the ripple effect is exactly what you stated it to be today. If that's the case, I just play one on YouTube, I have no professional legal training. But in the end, we'll find out what the judge decides. Assuming, however, that the SEC is really engaging in this activity. One of their accountants at the SEC, Andrea Fox, would essentially be coerced into giving more information than is strictly required of a summary witness in regard to that specific job. In short, the argument boils down to the idea that the SEC is attempting to conceal further material that was meant to be revealed during the discovery process many years ago. There's an argument that ripples are making about it. Therefore, the type of witness Andrew Fox is is irrelevant. Thus, that is the point of contention. According to ripples, the SEC is accused of engaging in deceitful and devious practices while debating. Actually, all she does is report the facts as an accountant. That is the point being made here. In any case, the calm persists. Ripple claims in its most recent filing that the SEC fails to adequately explain why Fox's declaration makes reference to her accountant when she is not presenting testimony as an expert, we will provide you with a copy of the file. This is where we will return to that precise idea. Ripple, however, maintains that Fox engaged in far more than basic mathematic manipulation. Even if Fox were an expert witness instead of a summary witness, the SEC claims that its cases do not back up the agency's assessment of Ripple. Before discovery and quote could conclude, the SEC was obligated by the party's agreement and the court's scheduling order to disclose her. According to attorney Jeremy Hogan, who provided the following, he republished the most current filing from attorney file run. No crypto Twitter user has ever found it more difficult to state their belief that the SEC will prevail in a motion. However, I believe the SEC will prevail in this matter. In my opinion, Ripple will be able to depose the witness as before even if the court rules that the witness is an expert. Pardon me while I say a prayer. It is my intention to go pray. I'm mistaken, which is a rare occurrence. I understand. He's been far more accurate than Rock. His record is impressive. I'm definitely going to be making calls in the SEC Ripple case. So, his point is, what would you do even if Ripple wins and the judge rules in their favor? I see what you're saying. An expert witness is this person. Andrew Fox's participation is confirmed. 
no matter what Ripple decides, that's the guest. If the witness were to be struck, the situation would only get more chaotic. What they would have gotten to do, in essence, had everything been done in due course. Manner. This was revealed during discovery, now it will only be revealed after the fact, which I doubt Ripple was looking for. Sherry wrote the following, given what I've gathered from her posts over the years, I assume she's an attorney, but I can't say for sure. She is a member of the XRP community. Regarding the letter you submitted in favor of the motion to strike, I have some reservations, and I am writing in response to the attorney's submission. It is difficult for me to tell how much, if any, of the quotations from Fox's declaration that Ripple utilizes are taken out of context without seeing the exhibits. In response to that, an XRP community member going by the handle Tipsy Tiger authored Section 1C, which I will show you in a moment. Surely 1C demonstrates that she meets the profile of an expert witness, he adds in his post, referring to that. There was an opportunity for the SEC to select an intern from the mailroom, but they passed. The reason for this is obvious to everyone. Additionally, I am quite certain that the court will comment on the second paragraph, which does not bode well for the SEC, hold just a second, and I'll show you. Something. It is worth mentioning that attorney Hogan addressed that by stating that physically assaulting a witness is a very severe action to take. Also, this is not the place for it. It also leaves the door open for the judge to be overturned in the future. Then what happened to the bequest? Allow me to go see one. So, this is the paperwork that Ripple's lawyers submitted today. This section, which is a screen capture, so I can't emphasize it. Regardless, what follows is the text in question. Additionally, the SEC has failed to adequately address the question of why Fox highlights her accounting credentials in her declaration even though she is not presenting expert testimony. On the contrary, the agency maintains that Fox did not make use of her specialist knowledge, yet, she does cite her qualifications in her declaration to reassure the court that her calculations are accurate. For the sake of proving her math skills, Fox seems to have divulged information about her 14 years of experience working for Price Waterhouse Coopers, which included forensic services advisory work, as well as her certifications as a certified public accountant and certified fraud examiner. That does appear to be excessive, then. While you make a valid point in favor of ripples, the computation remains same. The opinion of attorney Hogan is presented here. The fact is that such an occurrence is highly unusual. Another post by Sherry, this time addressed to attorney Hogan, included the following, I was just telling Mark about how adding Fox as an expert witness could complicate matters. There will be no harm done if it is found out that she is a summary witness. The deposition was permitted. On appeal, she safeguards the record. In this approach, there is no room for bias on any side. Returning to attorney Hogan's private thoughts, the matter so continues. I agree, was his genuine response. In my opinion, it is what she will do if I were to place a wager. In this case, a deposition would follow her certification as an expert witness. Indeed, an appeal would work against Ripple in the long run. To be honest, I see that as the crux of the matter. Well, that concludes our video. Your support in the form of a like and a subscription would mean the world to me. Coming up shortly, farewell.